Stop smoking. Take your time to enter this session. And when you are ready to start, breathe deeply through your nose. Then allow this pleasant air to descend down to your abdomen, which inflates like a balloon. During this first session, you need to concentrate to allow this air to descend further down into your abdomen and even lower with each inspiration. And when you exhale, just let it out, flowing with a continuous stream with your mouth half open. Note then that with each exhale, your body relaxes, releasing the tensions and letting them go with the air that you exhale through your mouth. Now you can close your eyes and the only thing you have to do is listen to the sound of my voice. This voice could be your voice, the voice for your relaxation. Just think about letting yourself go. And you just have to enjoy this moment, the mind listening to your body breathes normally and maybe you notice that as you breathe normally your muscles are deeply relaxed and this deep state of relaxation diffuses into your body into your limbs deeper as you exhale and you know that if the situation required it you might return to a normal state of alertness. Now you can begin to breathe more slowly, deeply and regularly. Your relaxation improves and your soul is in full possession of its faculties. Be very attentive to my words. You experience this positive and beneficial feeling that you are feeling now in this state of deep relaxation. You fully understand how this opens up new doors to faster learning and the discovery of more effective solutions. This state allows access to your internal resources you feel well. As if you were in a bubble of security and comfort, a place so nice that you could almost fall asleep. Is it your secret hiding place or an intimate space known only to you where you can relax in peace? And with all the confidence while the internal rhythm of your body experiences great tranquility. In this special place, you perceive the extent of your infinite internal resources and everything you see, whatever you hear, whatever you feel, in this place, is positive. And to better enjoy this feeling, I suggest that your unconscious creates a path to this state of well-being. I suggest it to choose an image, a word, a sound, a movement, or a posture and to associate it strongly with this bubble of comfort and security that you have created. Think deeply about this path. 
perfect. This image, this sound, this gesture, this sensation. I do not know it, but you do. You just need to remember it. To immediately find your place of inner peace. And this path will continue to grow each time that you listen to this session. And my voice continues to probe this voice, which could well be your inner voice, the voice of your deep spirit, your deep nature, the voice of your unconscious. And while you continue to relax and enter in a gentle idleness, I ask that your conscious mind resist its desire to slip away. And now that you see that your thoughts are clearer, you can remember something important essential, something that you have succeeded, that you have obtained by yourself. When you might have been younger, younger than you are today. And it brought you so much satisfaction, a feeling, an emotion that you can now take the time to let it come back to the surface. When you simply think about what you have achieved and when you look at what there is to see in this memory, when you hear the sounds, the words, that was said and that you remember that smile of satisfaction forming in your abdomen then appears on your lips it's so nice perhaps you have simply forgotten these tasty sensations just as you had easily forgotten to record the feeling of release or relaxation in your body before I remind you of this sensation and that you perceive this muscular relaxation that grows which spreads and which offers you even more comfort to the whole body and now you notice how easier it is to let your mind drift to reach this deep relaxation and you can remember the path towards this state of comfort of appeasement to be better to be well and to have nothing to do. Nothing special, nothing in particular. Just remember how nice it is to do nothing by staying comfortably seated in the best position the one you have right now and to find that your breath rhythm is so comforting, regular and peaceful. While on other occasions in certain times of the past when you were concerned completely worried about your thoughts. In those moments when too many thoughts invaded you, it seemed difficult 
to relax perfectly. While in this moment, do not think of anything in particular, as if you were in the centre of nowhere, comfortably disassociated from your environment, the mind in the centre and the body elsewhere, in two distant spaces, here and down. Perfect. You might also be drooling or swallowing. This is a normal sensation and will reoccur during this session. Because saliva accompanies the depth of your relaxation state. Here it is, this important moment in your session. I will ask you through your closed eyelids to fix with great attention an imaginary point which lies between your two eyes, just in the middle of your two eyebrows. Direct your eyeballs on this and the more you fix this point relentlessly, the more intensely you fix it, the more you notice that your perception of the outside world closes instantly. Even your closed eyelids seem more opaque, as if you had closed the curtains or the blinds. Your eyelids are more hermetically closed, like glued together, and as you enter this optimal resource state, I ask you to see how your mind wants to move in the right direction. The one you have chosen for a bigger future, as if it feels open to find better solutions, as it can now focus on how to do, how to offer you what is most favorable Take the measure of this inner power, finally free from any interference, and imagine the infinite resources now available to you. All these resources you have so you can better focus on your goal. Your objective to live without cigarettes, to break the bond that has become too restrictive, to regain good taste, olfactory perceptions, to improve your quality of life. and to claim your independence. Then and now, for your greatest immediate and future benefit, because you know your brain controls all of your organs your addictions to some products and you can direct it to get what you are looking for and even direct your desires your needs your habits so that to stop smoking 
becomes so much easier. Easier than continuing to blame your lack of will. Easier than trying without taking real decision. Now I would like you to become aware. As of this moment, you know a lot more things than at any other time of your life. Because you have more experience than yesterday and much more than before. For all that you have learned till now has already taught you that you can acquire new knowledge, interesting new solutions with much ease. Then what your past learning has taught you. How can a new idea seem insecure or uncertain? At first and then offer a concrete measurable result. How what seems confusing or murky at a moment can become clear and easy to understand just after. How what seems blurred at the beginning can become harmonious and well ordered after. And it is possible that lately, or for a little longer, when you were thinking about doing something, to end this form of addiction and regain good body sensations, a sense of success, finally free from this fatigue, this guilt at every cigarette, these thoughts about your will, about your ability to do what you really want. A liberated spirit focused on a new dynamic of life. This may have provoked a form of uncertainty, confusion. It is possible that you did not know exactly how to start and how to continue to get exactly the results you want. By thinking about this now, it might be giving you pleasure and appreciate that uncertainty or confusion you felt then because part of you knows that confusion is the word to describe the order of things that are not yet ordered. And this part knows with precision how to remember about the confusion that you felt every time when faced with a new situation and how just by asking your inner self how to order this, you immediately felt a form of impatience, a desire to order thoughts, ideas, actions, to easily gain a result. As if that part of you was waiting impatiently 
for this moment because it's looking forward to results. More simply, because it remembers the happiness you felt each time from this joy, from these inner feelings which accompanies each of your successes. While another part of you has found that some people in front of uncertainty surrender to confusion and yet you know that these people could easily succeed as you and even do as well as the people who succeeded best. It is possible that this makes you think that what these people are simply lacking is the pleasure of feeling some form of uncertainty or confusion. The one that leads to impatience, the desire to order things. Or maybe they just forgot to ask questions. How to order these things? What to do to feel this wonderful feeling of success? And you can now patiently understand that all human beings feel insecure, uncertain or confused in the face of novelty. They must feel that because that is what makes them to extend their knowledge, to develop their know-how, to increase their performance, to succeed even more easily every time. So while your conscious mind is wondering how to do this, how to live so much better without cigarettes, how to clear the necessity, the need for nicotine, and simply forget it at your own pace. How to optimize these settings to stimulate your body, your mind to reduce the power of the triggering factors. To create a strategy that makes it more difficult to access cigarettes and to reinforce the desire to free yourself, to make disappear these accumulated toxins, to naturally regain the right balance. I would like you to just take a moment to allow your mind to wander in the past, to return to the uncertainty you felt before knowing how to read, then to write, and what impatience this uncertainty has caused to you. A desire to draw features, curves, that others could understand. The desire to at last give rise to letters, words, phrases. And yet you did not know very well yet 
how to use this later. How to write would become so important for the rest of your life and yet you have succeeded. And you might even remember the uncertainty, the confusion you felt the first day you had to drive alone, a bicycle or even a car. What uncertainty, what confusion, with all these actions to think, to do. While you have to think and do other things, all these thoughts, actions that occupied your mind, your body, as they seemed complex, to order, to coordinate. But your impatience, your desire to know, became stronger and you still have succeeded. So today you understand that being just uncertain enough can accomplish your goal faster. That feeling an uncertainty, a confusion at the beginning, is important to become very proficient after. And while you think about it, you associate this idea with your goal. To turn your back on tobacco indefinitely to take care of this body that you love, that you take pleasure in satisfying it healthily. So now I will ask you to project yourself in the near future. A future in which you have reached your goal. That's it. You've arrived. You reject cigarettes. You have lost the pleasure associated with certain particular cigarettes. And you forget now that you had this need before. Bravo. You observe the person you are who makes you enthusiastic. You notice all the details, the gestures, the postures, the general appearance and the feeling of freedom that emanates from you. You hear what others say. These beautiful sounds that go straight to your heart. You feel this lightness, the dynamics that now inhibit you. The feeling of being in perfect health and feeling so much freer. Compliments, congratulations. You can be a happy person. You can be proud of you proud to go straight ahead. Take the time to enjoy it. And maybe you can take the time to look behind when today will have become a day of the past to rethink 
how you used uncertainty, confusion, to get the result that filled you with such great joy. And whenever you like, when you think that you have done all that you had to do, put in your best effort, found the best ideas you have and how to implement them, when you will feel the deep feelings that something good and important has come true. You will be able to begin the process and complete it here and now. But in the meantime, take the time to enjoy all these good feelings, this good moment. You will only have to mentally count down from five to one and at one you will be back in the present in shape full of positive energies because you know that the processes you have put in place will continue today, tomorrow and in the following days.